I don't want to fight about this anymore. I want a divorce. How could you? We have a family. Because I've moved on. I met someone else and she's just better. <laughs> what? We have a life together. We have a kid. Please, you can't be with another you know person just because it's wrong. Crazy. You can't You're or we have to emotional. work it out. I'm done. Please stop. Please stop. Hey, sweetie. How's it going? Can you come sit down for a second? Yeah. What's going on? Good to see you. I've been wanting to talk to you for a little while now. Um, I don't know how to say this, so I'm just going to say it. I've been talking to my ex again. And I've been discussing moving back in with him. What? I mean, I no, 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 no. Else. You, you can't leave me. You can't leave me for another guy. Things have been fun, and it's been That's good, not but fair. it's just, things are easier with him, okay? We're good together, we work well. I just, I don't know how else to, do you understand what I'm saying? I gave up everything for you. Okay, I need you to be less emotional about all of this. I am trying to talk to you about emotional. my, it's, it's over, Gary. Do you understand it's over? You have to fight for this. You're acting really crazy, You okay? have to fight for this, come on. Things are just easier with him, I Carrie. Do you, you understand? I want you. This is why I can't, I can't do it, okay? Please, I need no. somebody better, somebody that understands better. me. So please just, it's over, no. Carrie. Wayne Dyer said, how people treat you is their karma, how you respond is yours. The Vedic principles show us that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Whenever we act in a certain way, we are now attracting that back into our lives. Whether that's how we treat people, how we respond in a situation, how we deal with a circumstance, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. It's what we call karma. The way it works is whatever energy and actions we put out into the world, we attract them back into our lives. And we don't always receive the same pain or joy from the same person we give it to, but it always comes back, even if through another person or another agent. And the biggest challenge is, we never understand the pain that we cause someone until someone else causes the same pain to us. It's important to make the right decision for yourself in a relationship, but we should never be dismissive or demeaning of someone else's emotions. It's okay to break up and move away if that's what you need and that's right for you, but not in a way that forces you to break the other person. We can all end something if we need to, but there's no need to undermine someone else's feelings in the process. And often that's just us trying to convince ourselves that what we're doing is right. But by doing that, we make the other person feel that they were completely wrong. We have to follow our hearts, but we don't have to tread on someone else's along the way. It's so important that we give people time. It's so important that we give people closure. It's so important that we give people answers. It's so important that we give people reasons. Don't see these as below you. Don't see these as things that you don't have to deal with. Because guess what? When you undermine those, someone will then undermine yours. Karma teaches us the most powerful lessons so that we can become more kind-hearted, more compassionate and better human beings. And remember, some people pass through our lives in a shorter time frame than we'd hoped to teach us lessons that we would never have learned if they stayed. Because sometimes people don't stay in our lives for long, but the lessons they teach us do.